When it comes to deciding on a new campaign idea, one of the best things you can do is find a nice quiet place like this of solitude where you could really think things through and how you want to go about it and why. But one of the most difficult things for business owners, CMOs, or other decision makers is do you base the foundation of your campaign on data or do you ask your customers directly? So let's talk about this for this week's pre-focus. First and foremost, where the data comes from is super important. You know, you can go to Google Analytics, pull stuff off your website, off your app. You can buy data from relevant channels, but for the most part, you're getting loads and loads of random information, behaviors, actions, decisions online, offline, that can help you really nail down the people that you're trying to target. When it comes to pulling information from your customers, now that's a whole different ball game. You can meet them in the store. You could talk to them at the cash register. You can ask them questions at checkout. You can send out mailers, visit them door to door if you're local or you could send out emails or different notifications and stuff on social media. On one hand, you're getting a whole bunch of data of a certain percentage of moms that like to do X. On the other hand, you're getting maybe a dozen or two real life interactions with moms from your store or from your current target audience. At the end of the day, in my opinion, the main difference is data or acquiring information from online users is essentially using assumption to make your decisions. You're taking a majority or a piece of people that may be your ideal target audience and you're creating a campaign based on what their typical tendencies are. This makes it easier for you to bucket people and throw information at them based on what they look like instead of who they actually are. There's actually no interaction at all that needs to happen and in my opinion is rather lazy, right? When it comes to putting in the work for your customers, meeting them, greeting them, asking them questions, talking to them about things, discussing the experience, you're actually able to pull some certainty into your campaign idea. Moreover, you're actually able to include your customers so it's much more common for them to feel as though they're part of the process or a part of the brand experience themselves. You're not actually throwing something at them to sell them, you're asking their opinion so that you can better serve them, right? A majority of the business that invest in data reaches essentially are using somebody else's success or doing things the way somebody else has in hopes that they can achieve the same success. But in reality, they're disassociating their value. People that want to learn from their customers or lean on their customers don't want to be like anybody else. They want to do something different and they want to make sure they stand out to their customers. To them, there's really no point in getting a broad reach and getting in front of a million users if only a small percentage of them are in the market for their service or product. They'd rather go to 100 or 150 people that are really interested in what they do and asking them how they can be better. That's huge stuff. That's really smart. You're actually getting more answers that are more refined and more usable, right? In reality, if you're coming up with simply a campaign idea, there's no need for you to focus on data. That's actually something that you should use to formulate your questions to ask your customers, if that makes sense. Instead of basing a campaign on assumption, you can actually pick apart a lot of the assumptions that are related to your actual customer base. You know, I think using data and analytics and stuff are great when you're first starting a company and maybe you want to determine what's the best idea, you know, see how many seniors like to be outside or if people prefer wood over metal. But leaning on your customers' voices once you've gained traction at least is super intelligent. It can honestly be really rewarding too when you're first starting out. If you know exactly what you want to launch, why not get out there in the public eye and see what everybody else is thinking and what you might be missing. The point is, be purposeful with everything you do, guys. And always remember, Free focus.